All right, guys, I forgot to mention this in the actual intro of the video, but make sure you guys join the Enchanted MC Discord link down below in the description. They do giveaways all the time, and they drop all of their updates in there. They drop updates all the time, so you guys want to make sure you are keeping up to date. There's literally an update in this episode that I barely noticed whenever I started recording. So I myself got to start looking at that Discord a little bit more to stay up to date on all of the updates on Skyblock. But uh, yeah, anyways, with all that being said, go ahead and enjoy the Let's Play. Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back for another episode of the Skyblock series here on Royal.EnchantedMC.net, of course. If you guys want to come check out the server, be sure you are using that custom IP because whenever you guys do, it does directly support me and the channel. So I greatly appreciate it. And actually, I think we might have a giveaway winner to roll. In the last episode, I believe I did a giveaway for the premium pass. So let me go pick the winner for that right now. Oh my God, I broke some of the nether wart because I was farming it with a sword. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're going to put in the video link. Um, Boom, go ahead, hit continue. It's going to load the comments. And pick a winner. Boom. W Video Royal. There are actually, I think this guy did comment his IGN, like in a reply comment, if I remember correctly. Let me check. And yeah, he literally did. Um, his IGN is gang member ECPTI. No worries, bro. I'm gonna screenshot it. We will just count that as the win. You won the premium pass again whenever you're on. Just message me or DM me on Discord and we can set up a time where we're both online at the same time. Anyways, guys, with that out of the way, in today's episode of Skyblock, we need to make ourselves a shard farm. All right, shard is basically how you upgrade all of your armor. If I do slash set and we take a look, Look, we can unlock the uh, the money set over here. All of these sets, four shards. Whoa, they did, did they drop a new set? Is this always been here? Candy set. This set is a part of the enchant slash money family and will provide a enchanted slash money boost to everything when the armor is equipped. Bro, I have no clue whenever they drop this. That's what I'm saying though, dude. There's just so much stuff on here. And later in today's video as well, I know they're about to drop a dungeon update. So if we look at the dungeon sets over here, if you click on it, you can look at the enchants. I guess low key the enchant on the dungeon set aren't that good but we need to get to level 75 so we can unlock the uh dragon set because this is going to increase your chances to pull things from the dungeons so we need to get to level 75 and i assume it's going to cost shards to even unlock this anyway so yeah that's what we're focusing on in today's video we need to make ourselves a shard farm and i believe shards are gathered only by grinding because right here we do have maxed out shard greed so i already went ahead we set up a little grinder off camera i mean i didn't actually set it up this was all tyler over here we set up a little grinder as you guys can see we're gonna be using it for the first time in today's episode i don't know what type of spawners you want to put in here that you can grind this thing does have like sharpness 20 right okay sharpness 15 close enough we should be one-shotting everything that rolls through i don't know if grinding mobs actually makes you good money but if it does we could max out this looting enchant for 3 billion coins we have 23 billion coins right now and i haven't used them because i don't know the meta for grinding just yet so anyways let's take a look at our pv and by the way we are is top 678 because we haven't placed any spawners but trust me we got spawners bro i just don't know what spawners we want to place i'm going to start with straight oxalotls and then that is it i don't even know what spawners stack to on here but we have a ton of oxalotl spawners we even have enchanted again i don't really know the difference between the enchanted spawners and the non-enchanted but bang these are all of the oxalotl spawners we have i do want to place these down oh we should actually probably try and place the enchanted ones first obviously these are going to be better right so bang let's just go ahead and add as many as we can right um wait this spawner has reached the maximum stack size of 20 wait whoa 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 is this oh my god you can't put two of the same spawners in a chunk there's actually no way so we can only fit 20 spawners here you're kidding oh my god guys i literally just checked something right now slash is upgrades is a thing and i haven't known this whole time but look at this spawner stack island upgrades let's take a look at this thing so if we upgrade it wait is this boosting your spawner spawn rate or the spawner stack size because it says boost 25 this is only 5 million coins which is nothing to us so we're gonna purchase that upgrade right there now can we stack this to 25 or is it boosting spawn rate oh my god no so now our spawner stack is upgraded to 25 okay this is perfect bro i had no clue this was a thing we are going to get a couple of upgrades of this honestly this says 500 we're not gonna need to go past that so we will stop right there and then just add all bang wait how many was that oh wait yeah these are enchanted oxalotls i forgot Whoa. nah bro what the hell is this 
And why is bro not moving in the water? This is sick work. Okay, we're hitting it though. I do have haste on this sword, so you can't actually see me swing. And I don't really like that. I like to see the swing animation. Can you disenchant? Oh, enchant toggle. Boom. We just toggled it off. Hopefully that means we can actually see our swings here in a second. Oh my God, we can see our sword actually swinging. Call me crazy, bro, but that was, uh, it's kind of annoying me. But uh, yeah, this grinder is not gonna cut it because these guys literally are not moving. But look at that. Look at shard greed. We're getting some shard greed procs in chat. Granted, it is not a lot at all. Wait, hold on. Slash pets, bro. Let's make sure I have some of my pets equipped here. Money pet, coin pet, level pet. I guess we're gonna equip the tool pet as well. And back to the enchant pet. Um, what, bro, is this like an actual thing in Minecraft? Like, is this a, like is this an actual animal? You guys know I haven't played Minecraft SMP or Survival past 1.8, so this thing looks nuts. But uh, these things actually don't move in water, so that's a little unfortunate. But look at that. We just jumped all the way to IS top number 58, bro. We were top like 700 a second ago. But let's try and grab some different spawners here. Maybe some magma cubes maybe some snowmans whatever we have more of we are gonna place it down i don't know if a certain spawner that you grind will actually make you more shards or if they're all the same i assume turtle spawners aren't gonna move in water so we're not even gonna try and place those down honestly let me just take a look at the slash shop bro what kind of spawners do we have here cows creepers endermans ig slime so magma cubes are all the way up here snowman spawners are apparently better than magma cubes oxalotls past that then turtles pandas ravager spawners and then stray spawners oh my god and then a strider how much is this bro a strider spawner is eight trillion dollars what the hell for one nah that's nuts i can't lie okay let's try and place these down um i think we're gonna go with the straight magma cubes on this chunk over here and then we can just hit add all boom okay so that was a max 500 magma cubes right there now let's grab our snowmans and then add all to this one that was only 300 uh 11 oh the magma cubes are mad small on the server and why the hell do i have haste 7 billion again, bro. Okay, I don't know, bro. It is cooked, but I guess we could just grind it like this. Our tool is already level three. Let's take a look at some of the other enchants on the sword. Um, So we have to get to level 25 to start making rubies as well. Oh, are rubies good, bro? Like, I know there's ruby enchants. Are there any ruby enchants? Oh, there's ruby enchants right here. Oh, this is ruby merchant though. Right here, a lightning enchant. Chance to strike lightning, killing 2,500 mobs at once. I mean, you unlock this at tool level 250, but that enchant sounds nuts, bro. You kill an instant 2.5k mobs mob aura also seems really good but again it's tool level 200 bro that is going to take forever to get to but you can really get a ton of shards on the server anyway you guys can see we have 1.1k shards right now and we only need 2k to unlock a set so i guess the shard kind of economy is just pretty low i want to know though are we making any money here sell hand oh wait do we need a chunk we might need a chunk uh what's it called a chunk chest a chunk collector right here let's place this down i don't know if tyler lined up the chunks um okay no no yeah yeah we can just place this right here in this chunk and then boom let's take a look at this thing are all of the items going to collect in that chunk now let me just smack some snowmans real quick and then take a look oh so that's how this thing works okay bet i mean it was only did i just see a thousand five hundred dollars bro that is terrible but i'm assuming you don't really make money from grinding these you'd probably want to place lava down kill off the entire stack and then all of the drops go into here yeah that's looking like it's it listen for right now let me grind for a little bit we're gonna level up our tool and hopefully at, we're definitely gonna get to at least level 25 because that is whenever you unlock the ruby greed enchant and then we can start making some rubies i know if we look at our hoe over here this thing is level 89 so we've already unlocked a couple new enchants like the jackhammer enchant let's just get a thousand levels of jackhammer real quick because i believe farming is the best way to make money vanish enchant this costs rubies right here chance to break a chunk of crop slash ores at once i've heard banish is one of the best enchants on the entire server so we 100 percent need to get to that ruby enchant so that way we can start upgrading this enchant on the hoe and then key magnet obviously you know that's just good as it is we'll get a couple thousand levels of that and then we just need to hit level 100 and we unlock some crazy enchants right here chance to get 2x of the rewards when farming slash mining slash slain so we will be getting extra money extra coins and extra rubies this one right here double trouble chance to get two times of rewards when jackhammer procs and then demolition is at level 150 that we probably won't get that in today's episode by the way switching back to the sword we're gonna grind for a little bit you are allowed to auto click on here if you are not afk so let me actually bring out the auto clicker and we are gonna turn it on boom instant 50 cps honestly 50 cps might be a little too fast because as you guys can i don't know if you guys can hear this but i hear like the swings it's fine i'll probably just mute my sounds bro we're gonna grind for a couple of hours probably until the brand new dungeon update comes out 
And uh, by then, we should 100% have enough shards to buy a set or buy a couple enchants, whatever it is. And yeah, I guess I'll just catch you guys in the next clip. All right, bro, we already grinded to a level 26, I think now. Yeah, that was actually insanely fast and we have accumulated $312,000, bro. That is uh, not the greatest. We are also at 4,000 shards already. I'm by no means done grinding because I've only been grinding for like 20 minutes max, bro. So let's go ahead, take a look at this thing. We are going to upgrade the Ruby Greed enchant. Oh yeah, bro. It's, it's actually pretty cheap right now. Boom, boom, and then boom. I don't know how many coins I realistically want to use. I think we'll leave it right there. What level is our uh, Ruby Greed now? It is level 7,000. I don't think that's terrible. Now we need to get to level 50. Or actually, I don't know what level we need to get to because I want to unlock some actual cool enchants that will speed up the process of grinding as well. But as you guys can see, Ruby Greed is now going to be proccing. I don't know how much rubies is actually a lot. Maybe we upgrade our Ruby Greed a little bit more. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Yeah, you know what? We're going to throw in a couple thousand more levels of Ruby Greed real quick. Bang, 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 bang. All right, I think we stopped there. How many coins are we down to? Is that is that the updated scoreboard? Oh my God, we just dropped to 7.2 bill okay that's probably good right there let's go back to farming ruby greed proc 770k 820k 850k okay it's looking a lot better Ooh, wait bro slash pets if we unequip our coins pet, um, I, I can start on a ruby pet. Okay, yeah, since we're not really grinding coins right now, we might as well equip that ruby pet, start leveling that up as well, and hopefully make some extra rubies. So there we go, guys. I'm gonna take another cut. We're gonna keep grinding. We got to a uh, tool level 25 extremely, extremely fast. So I will see you guys in one second. And look at that, 14 million rubies in the last hour. I don't think that's bad at all. Oh, wait, did I say the last hour? I meant the last minute, bro. You guys know what I mean. I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, we've been grinding for quite some time okay off camera i did get my uh sword tool or just the sword to like level 75 which i believe unlocked the ruby enchant like ruby merchant that's what it unlocked and i just decided to dump the rest of my coins into ruby merchant and just ruby in general or the ruby green in general so now we have this at level 13,000, and we have ruby merchant at 1k that's not the greatest but i mean we have it i can dump actually 1,500 more levels into it i'm gonna be honest i don't know how worth ruby merchant has actually been granted it's not that high of a i lied bro this level is mad high um i don't know how good ruby merchant actually is i haven't noticed a big difference um it, it does give you some here and there but i don't know if it was that good to waste billions of coins on it anyways it's fine all right we've been grinding mobs if i do what was the command again i think it's slash island progression right isn't that the command boom let's take a look at this spawner progression because i have no clue what it is i've unlocked enchanted oxalotl spawners and we are literally right there two thousand mobs away from unlocking turtle spawners and then it's panda ravengers stray striders honestly none of these really matter over here um pandas do matter i know we have a couple panda spawners again if anybody in the comments can let me know what enchanted spawners even means that would be greatly appreciated okay but another thing i have been completely lacking on guys is crystals dude i added crystals to my omni tool over here the hoe but the crystals actually don't carry over you guys can see we have two active crystals on the hoe but if i go to the sword we literally have zero so i didn't know that in the slightest and yeah i just opened up some crystal boxes right here this has a 52 percent chance to apply let's see what else we have i mean yeah this is the highest ruby percentage one we have will it work is the question though oh wait Oh, it failed. I thought it worked for a second. I'm not gonna lie. Wait a minute. No, I'm tripping. This is 177% ruby booster, but only a 24% chance. And that failed as well. Okay. We were down to 152% at 58% success rate. Oh, I lied. We have another one that we could try right here. That failed only 26%. This 58 is gonna work. I know I can see the future. I lied. All right, last one, but this is the highest percentage one. It's not bad. An extra 151% boost towards rubies, which we need. That failed. Yo. What's going on? We failed every single one? There's no way. Also, I do have ruby boosters here that I didn't even notice I had. Um, I will take these. Thank you. I don't know where the hell I got those from. I'm going to be honest. Maybe it was from some of these booster boxes that I ripped open. But do we have more uh, like regular crystal boxes? I don't want the spawner crystals. I want these are booster boxes. These are basic crystals. Yeah, we just don't care about those. Wow. We actually got cooked. Hold on, bro. Ain't no way. I really don't have any. I really have no more. If I hit a slash skills, do we get any here anytime soon? If I take a look, 10 enchanted keys, rare pet boxes, 
Rare crystal boxes. I don't know how good those are. Hold on, guys. We haven't opened up our keys literally the entire season. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Because you might get some really crazy things out of them. And I wouldn't even know. But really quickly, let's also open up these pet boxes. We're going to do slash pets. I don't know if you have to unequip them. But I do want to merge every single pet we have. Just to make sure. Because a lot of them are the max level. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do we have here? What is this? Bro, I went, to, I went over here to pet upgrades. And you can upgrade your level cap for rubies. That's 1 billion rubies. Oh. Oh my god guys i just made a fat mistake and i didn't even notice are you kidding me dude whenever i dumped everything into ruby merch oh my god i'm sick I'm actually sick to my stomach. Bro, I thought this thing costed coins. This costed all of the damn rubies I just grinded. Bro, you've got to be kidding me, dude. That's a joke, right? Oh, there is no way. There is literally no way. I'm sick, bro. Um, I guess we're going to keep grinding some more off camera because I literally just wasted all of the rubies that I've been saving for the hours upon hours I've been grinding. Luckily, we do have some new ruby boosters that I'm going to be putting to use. Anyways, looking back at these pet upgrades, experience finder. This experience finder upgrade will provide you with the ability to find more pet XP whilst mining, slaying mobs, or farming. Okay, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, but it's mad expensive, bro. 500 million rubies is a lot so oh this could actually be worth it though a pet box luck upgrade dude there are so many things to upgrade on this skyblock server i love it i'm literally finding something new every single day but anyways now pet fusion we're just gonna fuse all over here see if we can get the max tier pets don't know if we went up on anything we're not using a coin pet right now because we don't actually need any coins boom equip the ruby pet and then tool pet i think that went up a tier and that might have been the only thing um yeah enchant pet what what am i missing here oh level pet oh that went up a tier as well Okay, not bad at all, not bad at all. Anyways, guys, really quickly, they did just drop a brand new loot box as well. They've been dropping updates upon updates on the Skyblock server. It is really cool to see. So if I do slash or slash buy real quick, we might go ahead and cop ourselves a bundle here. I don't want any of the cosmetic bundles. I don't think I kind of just want loot. And it's looking like that's going to be... I think we'll just go with the gift bundle. There is a flower, but that's 5,000 credits. I don't want to open up too many crates. I feel like I've done so many crate openings. So we're just going to go with this. Wait master crystal box right here please be a ruby oh it's a ruby bro if this is a high percentage we're up 57 percent for 181 percent ruby booster guys pray to god this works bro please wait you must be holding oh we have to hold the tool please it failed bro i can't take it anymore bro i can't we did get some totems as well let's open these see if we get anything super good oh a level totem yep gonna need that thank you very much slash totems that is way better than our tier one right here but i don't really think anything else was super good we got a tier two enchant totem oh no that's actually better we will take that as well and we don't actually care about the past totem equip the level equip the enchant but bro i am still sick i'm praying to god from these three crates we go ahead and pull ourselves some more crystals i don't even know what you can win out of these crates i kind of just cop them to be honest Ooh, actually a tier eight coins pouch would probably go crazy strider spawners panda spawners and then two or we got tier eight money pouches i didn't really want that we did get a book of rarity though those are super good but not entirely what we're looking for here come on show me something good coin pouches please okay no coin pouches a bunch of spawners jackhammer crystal and 20 enchanted pet boxes bro this opening has been kind of mid i hate to say it last crate right here though it could bring everything back i just want coins and i want crystals bro i am begging you please bro and bang money pouch damn 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 we're buying another bundle i don't care and we got the inch in champette i already had one i don't i don't need that i'm not gonna buy another one guys i said i was but i kind of want to keep some of my credits we're down to eight thousand over here if i hit a slash crates bro i literally have five monthly crates in here wait let's rip these open i don't know what you can win from them but i completely forgot i even had these i'm gonna speed open these and just pray to god we win some sort of crystals here I don't know if you can, but I guess we'll see. We did get a skin key. That's pretty cool. We will probably open that. See if we can get another, like, cool set. Didn't get any crystal boxes, guys. I mean, it's just unfortunate. What are you gonna do? We're gonna come over here to the enchanted key. Are there crystal boxes in here? Rare crystal boxes. Oh, bro, these just... I don't think these are really good. But at this point, what are you gonna do? Open all of my keys, bro. Did that just... Oh, that might have just crashed my game. Was that a lot of key? What just happened? Bro, my inventory is full. We did get some rare crystal boxes right here, though. We are going to take those. Okay, let's open up these four rare crystal boxes. Not one ruby. Dude, I'm going to lose 
my mind. All right, we're just gonna go with one of these uh, kind of worse uh, booster or crystals over here for rubies because any boost is better than no boost. This is an 80%, 92%. Um, this better work, dude, or I'm getting offline. Okay, yeah, the video would have ended if that didn't work. Anyways, I just made a massive, massive mistake and spent all of my rubies, so it is time to come back over here, grind some more mobs. I am going to be popping uh, some ruby boosters here. I'm also level 79. Actually, before we do that, we unlocked a Mesa dungeon. Don't know how good this is gonna be, but I just want to see the difference in loot compared to the first dungeon over here. If we could actually win crystal boxes here. Oh my god, master crystal boxes out of the- Oh, dude, I might I might have to grind this. We need this bad, or maybe I'll leave it for the next episode because we're actually close to level 100. There are people grinding here right now. I just want to see. I want to go in. You know, we're gonna smack a couple mobs here. Wait, what the hell is in my inventory? Death location. Oh, wait, if you die, do you lose your stuff or something? You might actually drop your loot if you end up dying, so- yeah, you probably don't want to die. Guys, I think in the next episode, we should probably try and get to level 100 and go to the maxed out dungeon because the loot is already pretty good at this dungeon. I don't know what set this guy has, dude. Ranked aloe ball, bro. His set looks nuts. Oh, yo, they dropped an update. Now you actually take damage at the dungeons. That is what I requested. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. too much damage, buddy. I'm out of here. But I feel like if you take damage, it makes the dungeons way more fun. And I literally almost died right there. Oh my God, brother. Yo, they kind of hit. <gasps> Wait, we have rare crystal boxes. Oh, these aren't the good ones. They're not the masters, but I mean, actually not. Nah, we're going to stay here for a little bit. I'm going to grind this out because we need a better ruby crystal actually nah i pretty much just applied a rare one let's just pop these what do we get um an 84 percent, but it's only 30 percent chance to actually work yeah you know what i'm out of here for now but i will be back in the next episode a hundred percent we also do have 68,000 shards from grinding which is not bad anyways let me get back to grinding i will see you guys in one second all right guys we are back i grinded for a really long time and we are back up to 9.5 billion rubies and 124,000 shards. Bro, look at all of the stuff in my inventory from leveling up the skills. We've been going crazy. But this video is already somehow 20 minutes long. There's just so much content on here, guys. So I apologize if we are moving super slow in these episodes. I'm still trying to learn the server myself. But... I do have almost 10 billion rubies, guys. Let's switch over to the uh, hoe really quickly because there are some enchants that we can buy using rubies on this. Or what level? Are we? We're level 91 on this thing. So we can actually get the vanish enchant. I heard this is one of the best enchants on the server. This is only 84 million rubies right here for a thousand levels. So we can actually cop some upgrades on this. Bang. Now what's our ruby balance looking like? We should have gone down a couple billion right there, right? Yeah, we did. We still have seven bill. I'm going to do another thousand levels. Now we have banished level 6,000. 500 and we have jackhammer level a thousand as well i guess we just dump the rest into jackhammer and let's go use this thing because i know uh, you don't really make money from farming mobs that way so i believe farming is still going to be the best method to make money oh my god look at this thing oh we're gonna need a bigger farm i just literally destroyed the farm what the hell we should be making way way more money than what we were before because look bro vanish is nuts okay next episode we're probably going to focus on going to the dungeons because I need so many things from the dungeons and we're level 99 right now. And we're also going to be focusing on our farm so that way we can make some more money, start buying spawners with our cash and make like a money farm. I don't know if that's all going to happen in the next episode. Like I said, I still have so many things I need to get done. I don't know if these enchants help my money production or my coins production, but it's got to be helping something because we are destroying this farm. So listen, a ton of progress has been made in today's video. If you guys want shards or rubies, oh, bro. Yeah, we're going to be looking into the slash sets as well in the next episode because these only cost 2,000 shards per. Bro, there is a ruby set here the whole time. I just bought it and now we have it equipped. There's no way this ruby thing has been here this whole time, bro. I am so mad at myself. There's too many custom things on here. I'm just kidding. There's no such thing as too many custom things. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like. Sub if you guys are new. Obviously, come check out the server with royal.enchantedmc.net. Join the Discord link down below in the description. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode of Skyblock.